Hello, Zam here. I just felt like I had the need to do a quite spontaneous middle of the week guidance for everybody and including myself. So better just to share it in public so that if you can find insight from it, then it helped not just me, but it helped more people. And I always love that when something works for more people. But then again, this guidance might not be for you and that's perfectly okay too. But anyway, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, shuffle the cards uh, three times and draw a card and let's just see what the influences would be through the imagery, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so this is a random card and let's see what it is. I'm not looking at it now, we're gonna look at it together. So that is the Ace of Swords. So what is the Ace of Swords? The Swords. When you have the Swords, the focus immediately lies in your thoughts thoughts, words, and how you um, convert those thoughts into words and those thoughts and words into strategies and that would eventually lead to your decision making. Usually when we have the swords, <clears throat> what is a sword? It's sharp, it can cut, right? It's made of steel. So when it's made of steel, it's cold. When it's sharp, it cuts clear, clear edges. Um, so how do we relate that? In every decision that we make this week, starting today on a Wednesday, then everything has to be done clearly. And how do you make decisions clearly? Unless you also have the clear use of information, <clears throat> excuse me, that's available for you, right? So the swords then lets us focus on gathering the information that we need enough that we become confident that we've gathered, observed, analyzed everything, and our decision is very much supported by facts and not emotions. That is where the symbolism of the coldness of the metal is. So when it is cold, it doesn't mean, of course, that our heart is cold, but in some decisions that we need to make, we have to separate our emotions from that decision. So we proceed with logic and objectivity. And sometimes when people do not know us and we assume that kind of process in decision making, then I'm not surprised if they can see us as cold people. But sometimes being cold helps because uh, it removes uh, the consequences of being emotionally attached to a decision. Although, of course, sometimes being emotionally attached to a decision is the right way to go. But because this is the reading for this week, then it would serve us best if we could just remain objective and clear and logical about uh, the information that we process in order to make that decision. It also talks about the ace and what is the ace the ace represents the source and because this reading is for us the source is us you are the ace i am the ace and when we have the ace of swords it means that the decisions that we are going to face from today up to the rest of the week should also be very much bound to how it would affect us because that's the ace we make decisions sometimes for ourselves, but it is rare that we make decisions exclusively for ourselves. When we make decisions, these decisions are very much attached to the people around us. Uh, the consequences trickle to uh, the people within our circle. But when we have the Ace of Swords, it is saying that even though that is the case, that there are consequences that could affect other people, at this point, just this week, 
we have to focus on the consequences to us. When we make a decision, how will this affect us? And when we ask that question, how will this affect us? Then, you know, depending on the decision that you're making, uh, you could see that there's a potential to affect the relationships, whether it's work bound or personal life, uh, it could affect uh, your finances, it could affect uh, your thinking, it could affect your personal development or growth. So it really affects many things in you, in your life. So even though you are considering the consequences of your decisions to others, the main focus is still you the ace in other words to make it simple how will this affect me personally and when we have the stairs that decision shouldn't just be um, bound to the present when you have the stairs it talks about progression right and the stairs could also talk about regression stairs can go up stairs can go down and when you see this, the light emanating from the center like a spiral, like the Nautilus, then it is also saying that we should think if our decisions are going to help us progress, go up the stairs, or if these decisions, the decisions that we're going to make, would be pushing us to go down the stairs, which means a bit of regression. It's not always bad to regress. Sometimes we do that in order to regain our bearing, uh, to buy some time, to reanalyze things. But at this point, with this reading, it is very important to know why. Why are you doing that? If you choose to make a decision that would, uh, instead of help you progress, would somehow make you regress. You have to ask yourself why. How is it going to affect me short term and within the week? And how is it going to affect me after the week? So that is what the Ace of Swords is. It's all about decision. It's all about the use of information. It's all about the use of logic, removing the emotions. And since it is the Ace, it's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about how we will be at the end of the decision. And hopefully, the Ace of Swords is reminding us that every decision should help us progress, not regress. We can regress only if that regression is very temporary and would also push us to progress immediately after. It's just like springboarding. You springboard, you push the board, uh, you, you push the spring rather down, and then it pushes you up. So that is the only way that you should entertain any idea of regression. It's just like springboarding you to something else. So that is the ron random uh, message for this week, Wednesday. I will really reflect on how it affects me. And because this is going to be posted for the public, I hope you find some insight there and see how it's going to affect you personally too. Maybe if you have some friends that could uh, benefit from some guidance, then just share the video. And don't forget to follow me on my social media and also on my YouTube channel. Until then, many blessings to you. This is Zam.